Last case here, state foster care. We went into a state, they're outsourcing their foster care, which is, you know, the homes that take care of children that don't have a home. For whatever reason, the family can't take care of them, so they get put in the foster care system. The state couldn't do this on their own, so they outsourced it to um, private entities to find homes and to place the children in those homes. And so they did it traditionally, but it had so many legal protests that they had to do it again and they used best value. And best value in the procurement stage was able to reduce time, reduce cost, and it identified the same four vendors. And these four vendors, they divided up five regions and they all took some of the regions. The issue here is after procurement, they thought they could do it on their own. So they stopped using our help and they bring us back in because in execution, it became a mess. And we asked them, what did you do? They said, we had all these client driven metrics and the vendors told us they could do it. They said, we have databases. We can provide all these given performance metrics. And what ends up happening a month into it, they begin asking questions. What does this mean? What does that mean? How is this calculated? And the client doesn't know either. <laughs> so what ends up happening is there's no metrics now. And so they come to us asking for help and we tell them, okay, you're in quite the mess, but the least you can do now is let's have them track a simple thing like homes. So we ask them, tell them what they project, how many homes they're gonna find for you. And then they can track that and how many homes they actually find. And so they project 797 and the state is super happy. They've never gotten that many homes. But then we ask them, you know, how do you know this is realistic? What happens if they can't make this number? The state said, no, no, they're experts. They know, they know how they did this. We said, you know, you might want to ask them for a quick one page summary of how they know their projection is accurate. Like, no, 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 they're experts. So they don't listen to us. The first results come in. 317 homes. The state is furious. <laughs> They're like, this is so far off what we expected. There's lots of meetings. They keep telling the vendor, you know, you guys better perform more or we're going to have to cut the contracts because this is a multi-year contract. So they give them a projection, 922 homes. Now we tell the state again, and I'm on this project. I tell them, ask them how they know their projection is accurate, how they came up with the number state refuses to do it they said no no they guaranteed this time and they told us you know first year was slow startup but this year is just going to be a bonanza results come in whoa more meetings more communication client starts blaming the vendor the vendor starts blaming the client on why this is taking too long in the end what ends up happening here Third year comes along, they give another projection. And the projection here, 825. I don't even know how they came up with these. And I finally, I get really stern with them and I just keep sending emails till someone responds. And the head boss that isn't even on the project but above the project responds personally to me. And she tells me the projections, Isaac, are based on need and not off of previous results. I look at this, they just don't get it. They think they can defy reality. They think they can make a peach seedling into an apple tree. And one end, ends up happening. I didn't finish the project, but based on the projections, they had about 550. The funny thing is the number of homes was actually increasing each year and the vendors were doing much better than the state would have done alone. And they had greater retention of homes, but the vendor, they just didn't know how to be an expert and make things simple. And the client just fit the vendor because the client just loved to tell people what to do. The result, because the vendor was a non-expert and it was really their fault, they were reactive to the client, not accountable. They didn't make it transparent. So the client hired seven more contractors. They increased the metrics from 20 to 31, and now they required it from all the sub vendors of the vendors. 
And so now you have a data sheet of over 400 metrics coming in every month with clients now inspecting all of it. And that's just what happens. It's a lose-lose. Oh. This idea that we can manage and direct or we can set KPIs or contracts is an illusion of control. And so in this, all we're trying to do again is we're trying to identify an expert. We're trying to utilize them, have them tell us what's possible, have them tell us what they're capable of doing and accepting whatever that capability is. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more content. If you have any questions about the best value approach or for Dr. Dean, leave them in the comment section below and we'll get to them in a later video. Thanks. We'll see you next time.